You want to know how we keep space aliens from abducting the cows on the range? We tell them not to. This is my where to eat in northern New Mexico video. I will visit some restaurants in northern New Mexico where I have purchased and consumed a meal or two here for and rate the place on a scale from 0 to 100. So follow me and sample New Mexico's Boa Fair. First stop, Abiquiu Inn in Abiquiu. The road sign. I have eaten several meals here at Abiquiu Inn. The bread sauce is pretty darn good. I had chili hyenas and came with a little shredded lettuce salad and some frijoles. I also asked for a margarita once and I expected, you know, a big margarita bowl with um, a decent margarita. What I got was a glass filled with ice cubes and an eight ounce bottle with a screw top and inside the bottle was water, lime juice, high fructose corn syrup, and it tasted like a wine cooler. The cost of the uh, chili rellenos and everything else, it was pretty much basic um, what similar meals going for elsewhere in northern New Mexico. The food wasn't all that good, I have to admit. Even though the red sauce was decent, I, on a scale from 0 to 100, I give a desert file gastrointestinal experience rating of 52. Next stop, Socorro's Restaurant. When I first entered Socorro's, I heard a lot of banging in the back room. I guess there was construction going on. So I loudly said, howdy, and a guy came out from the back. He was covered in white gypsum from the drywall that he was hammering on. He was wearing a big, huge tool belt, and he had a big hammer, claw hammer, in a loop right in front of his crotch and he asked me what I wanted and I said perhaps maybe I don't know cheese enchiladas if you can make it and he said well I don't know I'll go ask the cook so I went to the kitchen and I sat down at a table and I waited and I waited and I waited and I go you know like what the hell is going on here is the cook going to make cheese enchiladas? Um, can the cook make cheese enchiladas? I wasn't told. Until eventually a plate was put in front of me and there was some stuff on it. And I assume it was cheese enchiladas, but it sure as hell didn't look like it. It had the consistency of a soup on a plate. I could have consumed it with a spoon or maybe even a drinking straw. And of course, since it was put in front of me, I ate it. And it was kind of disgusting, and but not really disgusting. And since it was food and it was put in front of me, I had to eat it because it's wrong to not eat food that's in front of you. The waiter came over and I couldn't not look at this hammer at his crotch. It looked kind of unnatural and kind of obscene. I tried to avert my eyes, but I couldn't help keep looking back at it. He asked me, 
how did you enjoy the meal? And of course I lied and said, yeah, it was pretty good. So on a gastrointestinal assault scale, I would give that meal on a zero to a hundred scale, maybe a 20 to be generous. Third on our stop, Angelina's. When I first went into Angelina's, I noticed that the sound was deafening. Everybody was yelling, trying to be heard with their dining companions over everybody else yelling to be heard with their dining companions. And it was, the noise was actually painful. I asked the waitress for chili rellenos, which I am um, often want to do when I go into a Mexican-style restaurant. And eventually, a plate was placed in front of me, and the meal looked sort of like overcooked fish sticks that somebody had poured red chili sauce over. So I explored it with a fork, and I discovered that it was frozen. I ate it anyways because, as usual, if food is put in front of me, I'm going to eat it because I don't want to waste any food. And I discovered that it tasted a lot like frozen yet overcooked fish sticks with a green chili sauce poured over it. It was not disgusting, but it was kind of unpleasant. On a gastrointestinal scale between 0 and 100, I'd give it about a 30. Our next stop, Joanne's Rancho Casado Restaurante. And a fine establishment it is, too. <laughs> Joanne's was typical of northern New Mexico cuisine, I asked for cheese enchiladas, the plate, which comes with uh, frijoles and rice and some corn chips and some salsa, and I got, once the waitress came and delivered it, another soup. It was a very runny cheese enchilada where the, some sauce was put on a plate and then a flat corn tortilla, then some cheese, and then some more red sauce, and then another flat tortilla, then more red sauce. Also came with some pozole. And when I was eating it, it was just beyond disgusting. I mean, it was just vile. The, the, the consistency was vile. It was uh, gluey. Uh, it all kind of adhered together and not in a good way and it was slimy and it was just revolting but being a decent person um, it would have been wrong to not eat it even though it was a major struggle for me to eat it I mean every bite I just wanted to um, you know toss my cookies just you know just throw up finally choked it down because um, Complaining would have been an insult, and I didn't want to be the only person there not finishing the food, even though I was sitting by myself. Paid for the meal. I was asked, as I usually am, how I enjoyed it. I said it was very fine, even though I lied. I staggered, literally staggered, out of the restaurant, came to the parking lot where I am currently sitting, went over to where there used to be bushes. There's now lava rock um, laying here on the side of the parking lot. Got on my hands and knees and puked my stomach contents all over what used to be the shrubbery. It just kept coming out of my mouth and my nose and my eyes were like streaming with disgusting slime. I just puked like I have never puked before and it was miserable I was wailing I was moaning I was suffering horribly just terribly on my hands and knees 
as the sun was setting in the west. And after great many dry heaves, I just happened to look up. It's my stomach contents just caked on my face. And there's this family of um, New Mexicans standing around me, staring at me. And the old gentleman is saying, Senor, medico, medico, senor, uh, worried that I was dying. And of course I said, Por favor, senor, pray for me. In this most pitiful uh, voice imaginable. And he goes, and gathered up his family and went into the restaurant to eat. On a gastrointestinal hemorrhage scale from zero to a hundred, I give Joanne's restaurant a negative billions and billions and billions. Negative. No Arabic numeral numerals can possibly be written out just how negative I rate this restaurant. Of course, maybe I just happened to catch the cook on a bad day. Here we have Joby's restaurant. It is a converted feed and tax store. And it is worth visiting. I've had dinner twice here at Joe B's restaurant and I enjoyed it. I got the chili hirenos, which I usually do, rice, frijoles, uh, iced tea. It was a good meal with a very good price. Um, I believe I had dinner for around $9 and I left like a $4 tip. Very much worth visiting if you're in Española. Um, some people will say it's not great food. Um, I found it to be decent and on par with what one can find in northern New Mexico. The, I believe that the restaurant is actually owned by a family and the family actually work in the restaurant. The waiter and waitresses are family members. I don't know if the cook is a family member or not of the owner. The uh, inside is hardwood. Uh, reflecting its previous feed and tax store history. Waitress was really cute. Um, if you're a dirty old man like I am, you'll find her really cute. She's probably still in high school. And she was wearing uh, nicely tight Levi's and the pant legs were tucked inside pointy cowgirl boots. And when she was walking towards me. She was had a pretty smile on when she was walking away from me. Them boots were just clopping on that hardwood floor and it was just, the whole effect was like really um, pleasant. Like what I said, only if you're a dirty old man, like me. On a dining gastrointestinal experience scale from zero to a hundred, I would have I would rate that meal around a 50 to 53 maybe even 54 El Perasol I like El Perasol I come here very often for lunch when I'm only going to Española the food is really good it is salty so if you are a high salt diet this is the place to come if you're on a low salt diet stay away you get your basics you got your burritos you got your 91, 91s. 91s you got your um, guacamole you've got your red chili you've got your uh, pozole uh, menudo burritos tacos quesadillas tostadas and it all comes out of a window. And it is tasty. The guacamole is tasty. I usually get a uh, vegetarian burrito with guacamole and a quesadilla with guacamole and a cool drink. On a gastrointestinal scale, I rate this place pretty highly. 
From zero to a hundred, I rate it a 69, just because. Next to El Pedro Sol, there is El Paragua. El Paragua in Española is considered perhaps the best restaurant to visit and also bring guests with you. The food is decent, it is costly. The ambiance is really nice. In the winter time, they fire up the cast iron stove and a woman sits at the stove making tortillas. And the tortillas are the best you could possibly imagine. And then some. The portions of the meals I found, I've only eaten there once. It was kind of small for the price that was um, asked. But the food was good. Red chili was good. I got, of course, chili rellenos. And they were good. On a gastrointestinal scale, I would rate that meal about 79, maybe even 80. Next up, Zia Diner. And then there's, of course, Cowgirl, Barbecue, and Smokehouse. What do you think? Cheesy goodness? And french fries. I got interrupted. Cowgirl Bar and Grill, I like the ambiance better. I like the mood of the place better than Zia Diner. Even though both are kind of like a touristy restaurant, prices are about the same. At Zia Diner, they have this um, really good um, artichoke dish that I really like. Artichoke with Parmesan. And for breakfast, I like their um, chili relleno on egg smothered in red sauce with hash brown potatoes tucked in between there. It is really awesome if you're in Santa Fe and you're looking for breakfast, stop off at the Zia Diner, have that, and say, Desert File recommended it. Uh, Cowgirl, I prefer for anywhere else in northern New Mexico for chili rellenos. The black beans that come with it, really good. The rice is so-so. I also get um, a, a basket of french fries to go with that, and uh, iced tea. Cost is um, fair, is what um, one would expect in northern New Mexico. Anyhow, that is the, the list of places where I go in northern New Mexico to eat and no longer go to eat.